goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Oh, that my words was not written, oh, that they were printed in a book. That they were graven with an iron pen and leave in the rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon earth. All after my skin worm destroyed his body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold and not another. Though my reign be consumed within me. You're not gonna sit in that chair? No, go ahead, I do. Go ahead. Go ahead. New Testament, Romans 8, 35 to 39, says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or terror or fool? As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all day long. We are pounded as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, we are more than a conqueror. Through him that love us, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor power, nor thing further, nor thing to come, 
nor height, nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. Real and Christ Jesus. For well, we know if this earthly house or this tabernacle shall be dissolved. We have a building of God, not made by hand, but eternal into the heaven. Lord God give it. Lord God take it away. Bless it. Be the name of the Lord. to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your soul, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. Blessed are those that those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my right hand.
Brother and sister, we are gathered here today to celebrate this ongoing service and life of our brother. Amen. I know that snake seemed like he throw things off, but he's already defeated too. But we're celebrating the life of Mr. John Allen Hall. And at this time, the family has outlined the order of service for us to preside by the officiating minister. Um, it's running late, but we're going to carry on. Uh, we will begin with the prayer by Pastor Tatum. We will have the Old Testament, New Testament scripture by Pastor Loudon, followed with a selection. Uh, there's no name there for the selection. Uh, do we have anyone that would like to sing a selection? You can come up at that time. You have someone? You have someone? Sonia? No, Sonia name further down. It's not Sonia. Anyone? Anyone? Golden. Okay. Miss Golden, you can come up at that time. Then we will open it to reflection as a sister, Patricia Eden as a friend, Robert Oliver as a son, Patrick J.J. Griffin. Then we will have another song by Sonia Bryant and Bishop Red Silent, and we will have Acknowledgement by West Mortuary. There's another song there, but you don't have a name there. Uh, you have anyone for that one? And then we will have the eulogy, which at this time I have been appointed to do the eulogy. Pastor George F. Marks. Okay. We'll begin now with the prayer by Pastor Taylor. Amen. We truly give honor to our Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit. I just like to say that, as the pastor said earlier, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And we're truly grateful. I love my family. And we just want to give you to God right now that he will comfort you during this time of bereavement. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now with an humble heart and an humble spirit, just asking you to have mercy on us right now. Oh, Father God, I ask you, even in this hour, that you look beyond our faults and supply every one of our needs. Oh, God, I ask you right now to keep your loving arms around each and every one of us here, Father God, and just send down your Holy Spirit to comfort us during this difficult hour. Oh, God, I pray that you will be with the family even in the days, weeks, and months to come. 
that you will comfort them during their hour. Oh God, I thank and praise you for all that you are and all that you can be for us in this season. Oh God, I love you for just loving us, God, that you sent your only begotten son as a ransom for our sins. And we just thank you for that right now, God. Oh God, I just ask you to just continue to sit high and look down on us and cover us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, God. Whatever is in our path, God, I ask you to go ahead and make those crooked paths straight. Oh, Lord, we praise you. We honor you. We give you all the glory because you are God. And we thank you right now. We thank you for the life of Brother John Allen right now, God. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Oh, hallelujah, God. We praise and bless your holy name. We thank you all for what you have done. We thank you even for what you're doing in this season. But most of all, God, we thank you for what you're going to do. For all those added blessings that are on the way. For those answered prayers that are on the way. In your son Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. On behalf of Maranatha Baptist Church, and President Carter and Rosalind Carter, we bring our condolences to you and our prayers to you. And if you need anything, I want you to know that we're here for you. Amen? Amen. Even in the middle of the night, you can call somebody from my church and we'll be there for you. Amen? Amen. Tara, you know how much I love you. And since I love you, I love your family. Amen? Amen. It's my job to read the scriptures to you today, and I'm going to read Psalms 23 that the family have chosen. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I lack. I got rewind on my mind, so I need to repeat that one. The Lord is my shepherd, and there is nothing I lack. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides quiet waters. He renews my life. He leads me along the right path for his name's sake. Even when I go through the darkest valleys, I feel no e fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Only goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord as long as I live. You've also chosen Matthew Matthew 6 23 34 and it says here therefore therefore so we just had the Lord is my shepherd. So therefore, don't worry about tomorrow. Because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble in its own. Therefore, as I step away from this mic, I saw the brother get ready to close the casket and he put the facial napkin on Brother Hall's face. If you understand anything about the Bible and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, there was a folded napkin inside the tomb when Jesus got up. The garment was balled up, but there was a folded napkin to the side. In the Hebrew tradition, whenever the master was done with his meal, he would ball up his napkin and throw it on the plate. But if he wasn't done, he would fold it up and put it to the side, and that let the servant know, I'm not done yet. You're going to get an opportunity when you get to heaven and know Jesus, you'll see a folded napkin with Brother Hall that he's not done yet.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise for Lord. a wonderful life. Yes. For a wonderful life. I know two of the sisters, thank the Lord. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. Absent of the body only means that you're in the presence of the Lord. That's the only thing it is. He's with the Lord, now you are. He's in a better place than we are. Thank you, Lord. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on. Let me stand. For I am tired. And I am a weak. I am one. Take my hand, precious Lord, for no lead, lead me on home. When my life grows dim, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is all. Gone at the river, I stand, hold my hand, guide my feet. Bless, I stand, precious Lord. Take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, for I am so tired. You see, he's sleep now, y'all. But he with the law. Ain't nothing in there but his body. Take my hand and lead me on home. Amen. At this time, we will have the reflection beginning with the sister, Patricia Even a friend, Brother Oliver, and as a son, Patrick J.J. Griffith. Hello, family. We are, you look to your right, look to your left, and you know that person. We all are one, and one link out of the chain has, has left us. We are going to miss that man. He was my brother. He was my friend. And back in the day, he was my mechanic. <laughs> my car would break down just about every other day. And I would call him, and he would get up from his meal, come get me back running. He was the best brother anybody could ever have. <laughs> and I am going to miss him, but I am confident that I will see him again. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm Mr. Mr. John Allen's father, neighbor. <laughs> and y'all excuse me, but that man touched me. He had prettiest grass in town. I had to copy off of him. I asked him what to do. He said, go out there and pull weeds. And I went out there and pulled weeds. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, when I, I like cooking. And he loves food. <laughs> I'm going, every time I cook something, I make sure I bring something over there to both of them over there. Miss Lynn, 
Uh, I'm been 11 years since I'm since I've been there. 11 years over there with them. They've been over there longer than I have. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss my tree partner. That was my tree partner. We sit up under the tree. We drank a beer. He drank quite a few. <laughs> He'll throw him behind the tree. Miss Lily come out there and say, you, you need to move those, those cans. <laughs> I'm going to miss it, y'all. I'm going to miss it because I don't have nobody over there else but Miss Lily. Mike. Yeah. Uh, to, <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I love that man. I don't know what he touched me. He touched me by just his talk. His. Oh, man. You know, I'm sorry. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Coming out of the crisis is definitely ahead of my life and everybody in their respective places. Um, I want to say quite a few things I can say, and I mean quite a few things from knowing somebody for 56 years. Um, my dad. The Bible says. For in my father's house, there are many mansions, and one of them belongs to you. My daddy got his mansion in the sky now, y'all. Um, there are many awards that he won throughout life that some of you never knew about, but if you came in contact with him, you will know. He was a Oscar Award winner that never starred in a movie. He was a Grammy Award winner that never sang a song recorded. He was life's MVP, most valuable person. Uh, an NBA champion that never won a ring. But I want to celebrate the life of John Allen Hall. Uh, a friend and a confidant. Always had time for everybody. Uh, I've never, ever heard anyone utter a bad word about this man and in life you're going to do it some people i don't care what you say they just ain't gonna like you i have never met a person that did not like this man in 56 years of existence i have never heard somebody say oh man i don't fool with john allen hall if this place was dark right now my daddy's smile would light up this whole place y'all come on home with me if you agree with me please and uh if it's one thing i want to do because i can go on and on i'm like a Baptist preacher, I got a long wind. Y'all know it. But uh, I want to I wanna leave y'all with something real quick. I'm not going to do much. But in the words of Kirk Franklin and Rance Allen, there's something about the name of Jesus. Something about the name. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus, it is the sweetest name that I know and I love. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, I love the name. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name, y'all. It is the sweetest name that I know. Thank y'all. Because of who 
you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I'll give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you reign in victory. Jehovah Shiloh, my Prince of Peace. And I worship you because of who you are. Jehovah Gyro, you're my provider. Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you reign. Jehovah Shiloh, my Prince of Peace. Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are, Lord, I worship you because of who you are, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Amen. At this time, uh, we have the bishop in red silent, but I believe one of the sons want to come and do a flight presentation. You can come at this time. And after that, we are going to uh, proceed with another song. Pastor Tatum is going to do that song if nobody, if you have a, don't have anyone. And then I will come back with the eulogy, and then we, our mortuary will come and do the acknowledgement at the end. That's okay? Yes, okay. okay. As I mentioned before, and y'all can see where I was going with this when I gave my speech earlier, um, there was one award doing life that he did not receive, but I made sure in his home going service that John Allen Hall will receive the Lifetime Achievement Award. Y'all give my daddy a hand, please. Okay. Uh, the plaque reads as follows, Lifetime Achievement Award presented to John Allen Hall and wife Lily Hall in honor of your unconditional love, support, dedication, understanding, friendship, and laughter. We, your family, I'm sorry, we, your loved ones, family, and friends, would like to present you with this plaque as a token of our love, appreciation for a lifetime of service that you've given to all of us. Thanks for a job well done, April 19, 2021. In remembrance of John Allen Hall. Amen. Mama. Wait, CJ, uh, that's my little runner. Come here. Good to see you, Grandma. We love you, Mama. We're going to always be here, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Though the presence of his body will be gone, and only because the Lord has called him home, until we meet again, John Allen Hall, my daddy, from all of us, sleep on, sleep on.
I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I I look around. Hallelujah. Amen. Take your time. Take your time. And I think things over. All of my good days. I'll weigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. Amen. Send the song, girl. <laughs> Sometimes the clouds hang low. I can hardly see the road. So I ask the question, Lord, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me. More than my weary eyes, eyes can't see. And so I say, yes. thank you, Lord. I, I won't complain. The Lord's been good to me. He been good to me more than this whole world could ever be he's been so good to me <coughs> he was my buddy y'all It wasn't a family union that went by that <laughs> we didn't look for each other when we got there. I'm gonna miss him so much. I can say one bad thing about him, about him and his wife. <laughs> they never return phone calls. <laughs> I call, leave a message, call, leave. They never return us. <coughs> but whenever we saw each other, it was a Holy Ghost good time. Y'all forgive me for not being able to finish that song, but you know, he was one that didn't complain. And we just thank God for loaning him to us for a little while. Amen. Rest easy, Cousin John Ellen. And hope to see you soon. Amen. 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 And let the peoples of God say, Amen. Amen. This was a celebration of life. Amen. Amen. And I just want to give honor where honor is due in that to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Giving honor to these ministers and pastors who are here with us today and to this family. I know that you don't, many of you don't know who I am. Uh, this was a last minute thing. <laughs> um, but to just let you know, I am a 20 year pastor, uh, Pastor Whole Truth International Ministry right here in America's Georgia. Uh, this is nothing new to me. Um, but one thing I want you to know is that it really don't matter who I am as long as you know who he is. Amen. It's all about Jesus Christ. Amen. So today as we, as I hear, or as I heard the great things that were said about this father and this husband, and uncle and cousin and family members and friends and neighbors, I cannot help but to believe that God had his hand on him. Simply because of the fact that we have many people who attend church every Sunday. Amen. Hold titles with no love in their heart. Come on now. And at the end of the day, it's all about love. Amen. For God so loved the world Amen. 
that he gave his only begotten son. And so this month I've been doing a series about the resurrection. And you know, when we think about the resurrection and what God, Jesus told uh, Mary, I am the resurrection. And, 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 and I also thought as I was standing there, Lord, what can I say? And the snake gave me the message. <laughs> God would do it. And, and, and that took me uh, to the book of Genesis, uh, chapter number three and verse 19, when, when, when the, word, the word is written, in the sweat of thy face shall thy eat bread. And I was reading the obituary, and I saw where uh, uh, Brother John worked hard. 40 years of driving a machine. That means he worked hard. And this is what God told Adam after he was deceived by the snake. Come on here, somebody. Amen, 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 amen. 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 We said Eve deceived him, but the snake started the whole thing. Amen. In other words, the snake, the snake stirred up some stuff. Right. And a while ago when that snake came, he stirred up some things. Amen, amen. For a moment that our mind was not on the funeral. Amen. Our mind was on that snake. Amen. And when that snake showed up in the garden, they took Eve and Adam's mind off of God. Amen. And their eyes was on the snake. Amen. But I come by to tell you today, don't watch the snake. Amen. But you better watch God. Amen. And I, I, I believe just like that snake stirred us some stuff in the garden of Eden and tried to stir some stuff here, he tried to stir some stuff in his life. But I believe he had the power to rebuke that devil. I believe he kept his eyes on the prize because he knew this day was coming. And the Bible said that, that, that he told them and said, you're going to return back to the dust, the dust that you came from. So I believe Brother John stayed faithful because he knew he had to turn back to the dust. And today we are here to celebrate a life. Glory to be to God. The, the only thing here is a body. This is not Brother John. Because when death came in, the soul went out. Amen, amen, amen. So, 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 so this body got to go back to the dirt. Because we are nothing but dirt. So dirt go back to dirt. But what I love about it, the Apostle Paul said, when this mortal shall have put on immortality and this corruption shall have put on incorruption, then shall it be brought to pass the saying that is written. Oh, my God. Oh, death. <laughs> where is thy stain? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? And I believe Paul went on in Thessalonians and he made the statement and said, don't be ignorant, brother, Amen. concerning those that are asleep. Because yeah. when Christ come back, yeah. the dead in Christ yeah. shall rise first. And when he get up, he won't have this body. Yeah. He'll have a new resurrection body. Yeah. A body that won't have to worry about sickness no more. A body that won't get tired anymore. And Revelation, John said, look, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> and what I saw was a new heaven yeah. and a new earth. Yeah. For the former thing, it passed away. Yeah. All his problems yeah. passed away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all, all the things that he had to go through in life passed away. Amen. But John said that I kept looking. Yeah. And what I saw in the new heaven, John said what I saw was he wiped all the tears from the eyes. Hold your head up. That snake didn't disturb John. <laughs> he beat that joker. Yeah, yeah, that's why so many good things to be said about him today. He beat that snake. Seemed like to me he didn't let anger get in the way. Come on here, somebody. Seemed like me he didn't let hatred get in the way. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Romans 5 said, while we were yet sinner, God died for us. Amen. Romans said, I mean, John 3 and 16 said, for he so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. It seemed like he didn't let the snake get in his way. Amen. Regardless of what the snake brought against him, John was able to hold on Amen. and maintain. Amen. So I leave with the family today. Hold on Amen. and maintain. Amen. Look, that snake gone. Amen. And we fixing to go. Amen. And we're going to leave him here. Amen. So from this day forward, wherever you meet that snake, you run him away. Amen. Do I have a witness here? Come on, Pastor, how am I going to do that? But the word of God. huh? Because, because the snake can't stay where the Holy Ghost is. Amen. Wherever God is, that joker got to leave. Amen. 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 The Bible says re you rebuke the devil, he'll re flee from you. Yes, he will. So he had to go today. Yes, he will. 
he had to go. So I thank God for the snake that gave me the message. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He didn't bite nobody because God had to cover. Amen. He didn't pause nobody because God had to cover. And everybody's still here carrying out on God's program. Amen. So don't let him serve you to the point where you stop God's program. Because God is still able. Amen. Family, we love you. We bless you. And we pray that you will continue to trust God because you can do all things through him that strengthens you. And no weapon formed will prosper. God got you. Hold on. Hold on. And one day, all of us shall meet our brother again. God bless you all. At this time, I'm also the chaplain for West Mortuary. Uh, we are coming now to do the commit, Brother Darrell. Or you want to want them to come first? Or? Okay, they are coming now. Part of our staff are coming and we'll proceed with the program. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God to take out of this wise providence our beloved brother, Mr. John Allen Hall, we therefore come to commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. John Wright, blessed are those who die in the Lord, and foresaid the spirit that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. The Apostle Paul encouraged us today when he said that for we know if this circle house of this tabernacle shall be dissolved, we got a building of God not made by hands, but eternal into the heavens. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you now for this day. We thank you for this family. We thank you for this brother life, oh God. We thank you for the memories, the good memories that the family can commemorate on even in this time of death. Father, we pray that they will continue to trust you. We know that you will not leave them, but we pray that they will not leave you. We pray that they continue to look to the hill, knowing that all their help will come for you. So pour your favor and your blessing upon them right now and embrace them. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, scripture says, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Yesterday at the funeral home, me and Mr. John son was talking. He was talking about how his daddy drove that motor grader all those years. And as you came down to the cemetery today, Mr. John must have done been through him because that road been scraped out there. <laughs> He wanted to make sure that his family was able to come on up into the cemetery to his final home going. But you know, all those years of driving that motor grade. But now today, he won't have to walk on no dirt road. Won't have to walk in these woods, in these high bride. But he'll be able to walk down the streets that are paved with gold. So you know, they saying, payday coming after a while. Amen. But yeah, every man got to work while it's day, cause when night come, no man can work. You ain't never seen a motor grader really going down the road at night. So Mr. John has paved the way. And you can hear his family talking about with everything that they did. Daddy John was there. To even to say goodbye to him today, Daddy John is here. But we don't come today to say goodbye. We come to say good night, And that we will see you in the morning. On behalf of this family, they would like to thank Pastor Munch, our chaplain, the other pastor from Martha and Grove, and to each other ministers from near and far, and for each of you for all your acts of kindness. But your food, your flowers, your prayers, but most of all, that you that travel near for your present here today to say, serving the God, well done. Rest in that love employed. The battle's been fought, the victory's won. Now he can enter into his master's joy. On behalf of our president, Mr. Robert Eric West, our vice president, Ms. Devin Denise West, our chaplain, Pastor George Frank Munch Jr., and we the West March Rary staff, we'd like to thank this hall family for entrusting your loved one with us, and our Ray continue to look to the hill, which cometh to our hill. For all of our help do come from the Lord.
it's my job to close this out with a benediction. First, I'd like to say that uh, I have a license waiting for the son. We're going to ordain him uh, before we get out of this field here today. Because he's already done preached the word today. Your first sermon was preached today. And so I don't believe there's ever going to be an end to the seed that he poured into the ground, which is you. Tara, there's a, there's a song I want you to pull down on your phone that's called You Deserve It. My hallelujah belongs to you. There's going to come a time in the night where you're going to get lonely. I want you to be able to give God some worship because you know where your father's at. And your spirit will be the same. My hallelujah belongs to him. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you today for all that you've done in this great celebration. Your son that is coming home that has paved the way and left so many here. God, I pray that you give them comfort. I pray that you put a song on their heart. I pray, God, that when they leave here, there's no more tears, but there's a celebration. I pray, God, that they come together like they've never come together before. I pray, God, that they will call each other and call each other and say, I just want you to know that I'm praying for you. I pray, God, that today, this day here, they would do everything in my brother, Mr. Hall's spirit, a spirit of excellence, a spirit of love, a spirit of giving, and a spirit of knowing you. Father, we love you today. We honor you today. Thank you for this day. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say